Max Patterson, and this is my smart my microgrid concept. All right, in a contemporary system, you have maybe some solar on a microgrid. You have a solar panels and some wind, maybe a diesel or biodiesel generator, and then your residence. What I'm suggesting is to take it to a different level. I'm suggesting that maybe you still have these contributing, but instead the solar is on each house. But furthermore, I want uh, 15 to 30% additional solar to what the house needs. So these become producing agents and not just drops. So what might that mean? Well, in a contemporary city, you've got a baseline where it needs to run water or, or lights or maybe mass transit. Then whenever the, the day gets warmer, colder, what have you, the houses require more energy. And then furthermore, industry comes in. Under my model, the houses, when they start becoming producers, that need line drops. And thus, on top of it, the industry line will drop because the overall need of the standard grid, of the centralized grid, will be considerably less. So what might that look like? Well, in a standard design, as you can see, you have a centralized power plant. But, and these are the veins and arteries that go out and make our world work. Well, maybe there's a problem. Maybe one community is, is too far away and it became, you know, they just started there and they got connected for whatever reason. There's maybe the density is too high and that's putting greater strain on the system. Or maybe there's just, it's just old and there's de degeneration of all the technology. Well, under my concept, what you have is you have the microgrids in place and these become holes. And the strain on the overall system, the need for fuel or the need for additional peat plants is considerably reduced. So how might you make it happen? Well, that's the other, com other part of my concept, which is the roof stewardship collaboration model. In this model, the utility, the city, and the homeowner all work together. The utility and city are chipping in because they're going to get something considerably back. The homeowner is willing to surrender rights and, and maintenance and, and overall control of the roof because now it's become a power producing platform. They pay considerably less in co and for electricity, not zero because we don't want tragedy of the commons that would poison the model. The city now has 25 years of clean technology energy, clean energy just to power things like maybe even just water. Pumping water is a huge expense for cities. The utilities get out of problems like um, people trying to bring in tariffs because now it's not a money issue. They take on a maintenance role which could be very profitable opposed to building power plants and overseeing those type of uh, related issues. So some simple maths, so I don't run out of time. If we assume we had a photovoltaic overproduction level of 30% with 30% line loss, and we're assuming that eight homes per node, 52 nodes to form a cluster, and we'll even diminish it, we'll just say 300 sun hours where I'm at is 350, at 5.5 hours per day, you get an ending total if you follow the math and assuming, you know, pretty significant loss of 660 megawatts of usable power that's available for the city and municipalities 